All right, well, it's Saturday morning, June 2nd, and uh, it's about 9.30 a.m. Getting a little bit of a late start. Um, again, we try not to mow on Saturdays if we can help it, unless it's our own lawn, but uh, my awesome wife uh, um, took me to a concert last night, so we took the night off from mowing, and so I was like, you know, I need to get up and get the change out the blades clean the deck and you can see it neat we had a lot of wet conditions this last week and we did our best to kind of keep the deck clean but you can see literally the pile of stuff anyway so uh anyways so thursday night our oh i guess it would be our fifth lawn of the night i think um of course we're trying to bang out as many as possible we did seven that night um from five o'clock until we mowed until nine thirty. Anyways, we were at one of our longtime customers' house, and I was mowing. I was on Skag. I was doing my like little box around the front yard, and he's got some like uh, oh I don't know. They must be about that big, you know, four or five inch rocks in his landscape flower bed type thing. And every once in a while, one will kind of for whatever reason will roll out into the grass, you know. He's got a dog, so I think sometimes maybe the dog knocks him out. Anyways, of course, grass is a little bit tall. Didn't see the rock. And bam! Uh, I hit a rock. I mean, it chopped that rock in parts, pieces. It was like not exactly in half, but took some big chunks off of it. Shattered that rock. And I looked under the deck. I was like, oh, everything seems to be okay. You know, didn't notice anything. But anyways, long story short. So I was out here this morning sharpening blades and put some fresh blades on for today. And when I took off the old ones, or the ones that were on it, okay, I was like, oh, this one looks is bent. So obviously that rock did some damage. I don't know if you can see. So these other two blades are sitting nice and flat, this and that. And you look at this one. You see how it's bent up. I mean, the camera's not going to do it justice, but you can see um, how it's bent. I mean, it's bent pretty good. I'll see if I can stand this up and then... Uh, let me see. I'll put a new one or a non-bent one next to it. There. See how this one on the right is really bent over. So, anyways... Well, one half looks like it's straight. <laughs> this half down here, but I don't have any much use for a half of a mower blade. Now, I'm not going to try to straighten that out or anything. I mean, I probably could. I might, but yeah, it's just not worth it. You know, you put a whopped out blade on your mower, and then next thing you know, you're asking for uh, you're asking for trouble. You know, now you're going to take out a spindle and stuff. So, anyways, pretty bad. Glad I glad I saw it because I almost I was almost like you know what we're just gonna go knock out these next six lawns today be done for the week and not do a blade swap and one good thing too is Scout was supposed to he was gonna mow our own lawn last night while I was at the concert but it rained so he he would have uh, run the skag for sure probably wouldn't have noticed I didn't notice the vibration because I did two more lawns after the rock incident. And uh, um, he would have gone went ahead and probably mowed and wouldn't have noticed. And so hopefully we didn't do any other damage. Like I said, I didn't feel any vibrations. So, but I'm sure, I'm sure it was. Anyways, I'm, I need to clean out this trailer too. I'll give you a quick look in our trailer. I think I've done a little video about the trailer before. We got some like, these are, I think they're rack em racks. I don't like them at all. I got them from my brother-in-law. They're just, I don't know. They're, I just don't like them. These, this, I need to, if I keep them, I need to cut these off, move them up, and weld them up here. And same thing with the bottom one. Cut them off and then move it down further. And then they'll be useful because you can't, like, lift it. If I lift this up, it bangs into that one. It's like, I don't know, bad design. Bad, bad design. Unless you alternate, maybe, you know, flip-flop them. But it's it's just, they, they stink. 
I want to get some green touch, but um, that's low priority right now. Anyways, you see the top is kind of cluttered right now. I got a bed redefiner, got my power sweep. Um, I know I got an extension pole up in here. Oh, extension poles in that tube. It's a bit of a mess right now. Hmm, jumper cables are laying here. I wonder if Scott had to use them for something. Anyways, a couple hand tools, my blowers and stuff like that. This is the bag, bagger for the Troy Built, which is Troy Built. You notice that the cover is off the top because we, um, we blew up two belts about a week and a half ago. All at the same time. I think one belt broke, the transmission belt broke going up the steep, steep wet hill. And when it came off, I think it got lodged in the other belt and caused that one to come off and break. So, yeah, it was a great day. Anyways, well, I'm going to get these new blades back on and uh, get out of here and try to uh, get these next couple lawns taken care of. Or six, we've got six to do today, and I'll be done for the weekend, and then do our own. Do our own. We're behind on our own. So, anyways, hopefully everybody's having a great weekend. Later.